Hi guys, Max HD here, back again with another video, and welcome back to the channel. So this is my match review for the Newcastle vs Everton game, which happened yesterday. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So Newcastle played at St James's Park against Everton yesterday in front of a crowd of 51,042, the lowest of the season so far for Newcastle. And we're going to start off with the Newcastle lineup for the game in a formation of 4-2-3-1. We had Darlow in goal. Yedlin at right back, Lascelles and Lejuan at centre back, Manquillo at left back, Marino, Shelby, Atsu, Diami and Ritchie all in the midfield, with a lone striker of Gail up front. On the subs bench was Elliot, Clark, Murphy, Hayden, Ahrens, Perez and Josselu, with four changes made to the team from the last game, with uh, Lascelles, Diami, Atsu and Shelby all coming into the starting eleven for this game, and with substitutes of Josselu on the 67th minute for Diami. Um, Aaron's on the 74th minute for Matt Ritchie and Perez on the 86th minute for Mikel Marino. The ref for the game was Martin Atkinson and it was his first appointment for Newcastle this season. The last time he refed a game for Newcastle was back in 2016 of March. Uh, it was a 1-1 home draw with the Mackhams. Rooney's solitary close range goal was enough to, uh, for the Toffees to win their first Premier League away game since January where they won 1 0 against Crystal Palace uh, and that loss extended our winless streak to eight games now but our miserable night was compounded in the injury time by John Joe Shelby getting sent off for an ugly lunge on Idris Agai. Of course if you watch it back on the highlights you can see that it's not that bad of a tackle and it definitely didn't deem a second yellow card. Rafa's struggling side hit the woodwork twice through Matt Ritchie and Michael Moreno before the break, but we always had to be wary of Everton's Sigurdsson inspired counter attacks. Air Big Sam's Everton are now level on points with 9th place Watford, but Benitez's men are just one point above the bottom three as takeover talks between Ashley and Stavely continue. Things have got to change at the boardroom level if we're going to survive. Uh, of course, uh, we weren't any better in the end of the game neither. Slow, weak into substandard in every department. Never mind the next win. It's difficult to see where the next point will come from. Uh, at present, the increasing worry is that whatever transpires in the January transfer window may come a bit too late to survive, uh, save us in this league. Of course, with games against West Ham and Arsenal coming up, and also Man City. Things don't look too good for Newcastle at the moment, but with the takeover on the horizon, things could change for the better. It's just when that takeover is going to be complete. But let us know what you think in the comments below about the match. Personally, I didn't get a say because I was at the, out last night at the cinema watching Star Wars The Last Jedi, uh, which premiered the, uh, in cinemas last night. Uh, but I had to catch it on the highlights and from what I've seen on the highlights it wasn't the best performance Newcastle's put in at all and it was very bad but let us know what you think in the comments below and if you haven't done it yet then follow me on social media the links are in the description below and if you can put a like on this video and also if you haven't done it yet make sure to subscribe the button's just down in this bottom corner down here it takes about one minute to subscribe or a few seconds is it would really help me out. Until next time, I've been Mags HD, and I'll see you later.